the CATS model, the COTS advisory team that we had, we set up the technical experts across the agency and across the centers to help us. Um, you know, in most cases, they were individuals or, or people uh, and in, or small organizations across the, center, uh, the various centers. Uh, in a lot of ways, I think it was key to our success. We were able to bring in and, and utilize, you know, vast years, decades of experience and, and people and bring them in in isolated instances where they could come in and, and look at a design and give comments and, and input or in some cases provide ser testing services or whatever we might have needed. Um, and in my mind, it's it's a model that in, in a lot of ways is in fact already in work across the agency now uh, and through the NESC or, or our tech authority pieces that, the, that is being utilized for even Orion and other places. Um, we have system managers in those for those programs for, for the traditional NASA programs, but they rely on and they you know they leverage uh, technical capabilities that, that reach into the centers themselves. And I, I think in many ways uh, it mirrors the approach, if not the the, the nomenclature and the terminology that we used. Uh, the NESC is, is is actually a really nice example. They've got clear point, technical points of contact in a lot of areas, uh, and while. And they also can reach into places uh, outside of indus in, in industry that we uh, don't traditionally have access to uh, from, a, from a NASA perspective on a daily basis. Uh, we actually utilized the NESC in a couple of cases. Um, Orbital Sciences wanted to do a full-up uh, engine test uh, with the rocket sitting on the pad at Wallops, and that was something that, that they hadn't had much experience with, uh, but they felt they sit fit well in their business case for trying to approach it that way. Uh, NASA had experience doing shuttle, uh, early shuttle orbital orbiter tests on the pad at, at the Cape. So we reached over into the NESC and they pulled out uh, and pulled in experts from across the agency and, and really helped us in a way in, in, by pulling in people that I was not familiar with um, and expertise in ground processing and how you build up the pad and how all this stuff comes together and how the impact of running a, a, a full-up rocket engine testing on the, on the pad, um, how that would be impacted and how the, what the safety and, and wiseness of, that, of that, that activity was. So we were able to give them, utilize outside of our CAT team where I was more aligned with looking at the vehicle designs and the, uh, for the spacecraft or the rocket, we were now able to, to tap into huge amounts of infrastructure uh, and expertise on the infrastructure of, of running, an, running and operating a pad and what the impact of that would be if to actually just sit and uh, sit on the pad for a period of time, firing the engines and blasting away and what that would be. So the NESC actually offers a, a, an interesting corollary or, or uh, uh, parallel to what our CATS team was all about. Each of the companies had their own strengths, and consequently, they had different needs um, in what sort of supports that they, they needed. Um, I know we did, on the SpaceX side, we did a lot of COM analysis, because that wasn't necessarily, I think, an area that they were, at, at that point, strong. They may be now, I have no idea. Uh, on the orbital side, we certainly had um, a lot of folks looking at um, the, the rocket design, the... Uh, that was an area that, you know, the orbital sciences was, was traditionally they had been working with solids and it didn't have as much experience working with liquid engines. Uh, so they, we, we did offer them some assistance in that. Um, they got into the engine designs and, and into the, using the engines and found that they had material problems because they were 40 year old engines. So we were able to re tap into Marshall and help um, come up with some screening techniques to figure out how to screen out some of the material problems that they had with some of the engines. So it really got into the needs of the companies and the needs of the designs and, the, and the, their own individual situations. Um, there was obviously a huge amounts of capability out in industry. Um, it's the same capability that NASA largely relies on for, for many of our activities, but there are clearly places that we do bring uh, value added and that we didn't want to necessarily force companies to go become experts in things that they didn't necessarily need in the end. Uh, so we could offer, you know, assistance in those kind of in that kind of realm. But when we would reach out and get to individuals uh, at at the various centers, that's where we would see people get really excited about what we're trying to do. 
Uh, we ultimately they would have the opportunity to go work with the companies and have real meaningful input input into the designs. The companies were anxious for our help. They were anxious to hear what our thoughts were on these things on the designs. They were anxious to get our expertise and in, in some cases utilize our our test capabilities. Uh, I know on the SpaceX side they ended they did testing on some power system pieces at Glenn. We. On the orbital side, we did testing out of White Sands. We did a number of different things in a lot of, a lot of different centers. Uh, and in general, when we while we were offering very small FTE and small dollars, uh, the meaningfulness of the work was very important to an individual and very important to the, the, the people that we got involved. Um, I could honestly say that we I had better engagement um, or had a, a meaningful input and on the designs of orbital sciences as I've ever had on any other job that I'd ever had, and that the subsystem guys, when they got involved and they saw that the ability to impact these designs in meaningful manner and provide real concrete inputs that ultimately moved NASA forward and, and the companies forward, that that was very attractive to the company, to the, the, on people on an individual basis.